You should have had her adopted. I wish you had. You tried to, and I wish you had. I used to dream of lovely families. You had a family. I lived with you and that piece of flint. <laughs> you dragged me up. I glimpsed into worlds I should have known nothing about. Worlds with no morals and no responsibilities. And not just glimpsed, you took my face with your four hands and pushed it up against the window. We should have pushed it through. <laughs> and I've got morals. How can you say that? You burnt and scarred my best friend. Who? Titicaca. Oh. <laughs> Her name is Sarah. Darling, she was standing with her little pigtails too close to a candle. Act of God. <gasps> you were holding the candle. <laughs> she got a therapist on insurance. For God's sake, I am not going to feel guilty about this. No, because to do that, you'd have to go beneath the surface, and I don't think there's a drill strong enough to crack that crust. God, you are so ungrateful. You are so ungrateful. There are, there are some people, you know, think I'm pretty great. <laughs> This now, Eddie. It's just not important. It's oh, not no. important. No, it's not important. Not as important as considering the future of the structured handbag or swing max or pom pom sweaters. Not important to a woman whose job it is to invent random adjectives for pointless clothing. Stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> you had everything! <laughs> you had everything I never had! was always alone. Mum never took me on holiday. I did! Prove it. Where are the photos? Where are any photos of me? No, we didn't have cameras in those days. <laughs> God, honestly, though, why do you always want proof? You always want proof! Eddie, we took her to the park. Yes, we took her to the like a constant winter. Okay. Yeah, well, she never thawed, did she? No, rigor mortis set in during puberty. Yes. <laughs> I mean, she's so cold, I bet she has her periods in cubes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not find my next